Shit, this guy scared the fuck out of me. We're gonna go to glasses cam. Hey. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Alright. What's wrong with me, buddy? Are you guys gonna attack? Just because Jake and Bout for you doesn't mean you can enter the car by Why should I let you win? I'm coming in one way or the other. At least with the easy way, you still get to breathe. All right. Have it your way. I'll take it to Dr. Chambers. She can decide what to do with you. Don't try it. That's all I'm asking, mate. That's all I'm asking. Now the question is, all sense people. Blight. Hey, Blight. Torture. You're sick. Just give me the signal. Yes. What is it, Norman? I thought you guys were done with subject one. Oh yes, the interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on question four. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. It's all sense people. To be honest. I think they're people enough. When you can think for yourself, make your own decisions, you're alive. Hey, extend the platform. Oh, fucking people. If I didn't get through this, it would be a big shootout. I don't even know if I would have made it. Even with Fiona. Dr. Roslin. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a sin? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. There are no other options? Too much is at stake to allow you to simply leave. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a sin right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? Well, to be honest, if a human killed my whole family, probably wouldn't be wiping out every single human now, would I? Believe me, I've been there. But I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden sins, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do. But we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out... What about x-rays? Take a picture. Find the synth the test is piece in, in the brain. The synth but component. Sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improved. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synths. But the exact trigger is elusive. The margin of error is admittedly high. Four or five false positives per synth. But one day, we hope to get it to one or two false positives. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, Intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety 
key. But most important, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton Sin and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it, even if I have to kill you to do it. This can only go two ways. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. Then you'll jump. Shoot. Um. Now I know you're a goddamn synth. But you're lucky you have me. What the fuck? This is disgusting. What the hell? Can't believe they have you eating this disgusting ass shit. Oh shit. What the fuck? Shit. Doctor's dead. Won't let you hit another synth. What? That's what you get, bitch. Ass should I be? Quite a big ass. Sixty forty, really? Try ninety ten. Ninety ten? Is that a joke? I risk my life, same as you. 70-30 is my final offer. I'm not gonna be a dick. Be safe, Dan. Same to you. Hey, Dan. These turrets shoot me, it's gonna be some bullshit. Fuck, 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 fuck.
shit. That was another episode of Joel's Survivals. Hope you enjoyed.